last time Vladdy told you where he is from. Vladdy is from small box, very dark, then stupid idiot brought him out of box, and it was sad. Now, we are here. Okay, sorry. A completely lazy, lazy mystery novel. After an unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time, he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective's struggle to return a pair of defective pants. Night Danger 2. Danger. Bob, you stupid dummy, why you commissioned that artist to make these maps is beyond me. They're unreadable. Everyone is getting lost down here. Yeah. Uh, Bob, I don't care how good a deal you get. No more lobbies. Idiot. Aha. Uh -huh. A stupid. Is there anything? Let's take the entire water cooler. You were mistakenly trying to pick up something else, but now you're in possession of an entire water cooler. You're too stubborn to put it down, so you're going to find a use for it. Carrying it everywhere you go. You can even empty out the water. somewhere. An excellent conclusion. Yes, quite. So, what do we do? Well, naturally, if we take as many wrong turns as we possibly can, we will eventually make a right one. Of course. Brilliant. And if not, we'll take a nap. You read my mind. Oh. Now, this is a rock that knows its place in the world. Unquestioning, unwavering, happy, and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. Sturdy box. So, Bob, what do you think of this? See what you've driven me to, jerk? Hi, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit of things. I don't want to mine so it can be side by side. Really think it balances the space well. He's such a dick. Such a dick. Alright, okay, we've got some things going on here. Facial recognition security checkpoint. Hi, Dad. Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favour and beefed up the doors of your room. You're absolutely welcome. Bob, you jerk, I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it! I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. So, we've got a stack of shit. Um, I suspect that is one of them. Uh, sturdy box is another. Um, uh, looks like a Christmas pudding with a pineapple in it. This doesn't very good. Tin company. There's tins everywhere. A living quarters. Okay, messy times. Oh, and a pot plant. Pruning shears. Bob bought these to help maintain the large number of plants that decorate the facility. The small fact that they were all plastic and didn't need any maintenance didn't deter him in the least. Capuchin treats. Okay, so they're monkeys. Maybe real stuff. Value size, no less. Box of monkey treats. Bob mistakenly thought that cap capuchin was another word for delicacy. 
and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told that the snacks were, in fact, for monkeys, he ate them anyway. Maybe a bit of stuff. Maybe. Oh, look. It's a Batari. More gold shooters. Boop. Okay. Literally all there is. Oh, there's a map here. Navigation chart. It's a small navigation chart of the Pacific Ocean with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of a small flyer than a nautical vessel. It's apparently part of Operation sub Aquilian Everdeer. But owing to your poor understanding of, all, understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think it's a chain restaurant specialising in Italian cuisine. Okay. Broken <laughs> gear half and pruning shears. Pruning shears for crying out loud. Oh. Ah, the whole staircase here, look. A daily planner. The final page consists of six appointments. 9am, do nothing. 11am, pick up new fedora and glove. Noon, torture stupid corn for amusement. 3pm, hide to avoid work. 5.45, torture corn. 6pm, initiate our stuff. Hiya, Fernando. Could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you will do that in no time flat. Fernando, you question, ignore that little Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort the samples of the genetic stamp from the least reactive to the most. Go do it. Hey, Fernando, got a more important job for you than that. Need this statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding's already set up, so I'll fish it in about an hour or so. Fernando, you lazy oaf, don't touch that statue. We don't yet, don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behaviour in their habitat for several days. And don't move a muscle. That'll throw the data off. Hi, Fernando. Don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. We really need you to hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and sell it up, would you? Please, thanks. Fernando, you twit. Don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. The book titled The One Second Assistant. A particular book on how to be an assistant in the workplace, whose end appears to be to, be to do as little work as possible. Chapters include How to Shred Everything, an intro into hiding in the office, and shifting blame of the intern. The best book ever made about doing the least work possible. But John C. Smith John. Right, his things. A master plan. Appears to be the only thing Fernando, the founder's assistant, puts any effort into, aside from shredding important documents and wearing a fancy fedoras and gloves. Ah. I suspect Fernando, then, is the poor sap we found by the electricity thing. It's a very poor plan, involving jumper cables, a strange lightning rod, and somehow turning into all powerful god. Let's read that the stupid corn told me their secret, and Bob and Ted will be my assistants now. Yes, it's a very sorry tale. However, I do have... Oh, no, I don't have Fernando's head anymore. I didn't have an answer. Oh, that's typical. A coffee trolley out of coffee. I put. Oh, no, no. 
No, no, no. Okay. Weird coffee. Stuck. this workplace readiness report. Giving up on Lockhorn's ability to be weaponized at any level, the scientists attempted to see if they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't, opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could, the goal of which seemed to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. He's going to bubble. Cafetier. If we get some coffee, that'd be quite nice. Hamburger. Four buckaroos. Aha! You Pass take so bar. many useless things, idiot. Yeah, he's an idiot. Bob, where's that idiot Fernando hiding? I told him to refill the coffee trolley with rank A weeks ago. If you find or ranker. If you find him, put him to work and do some yourself. The buffoon. Buffoon. Lots kitchen door. Okay, well, hopefully. Ah, it was a different corridor, that's why. I forget that. What are we doing here, guy? I'm excited for a minute. Ba, 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 ba. Right, we go there. That's a three quarter ball. What have we missed? Kitty cat. Oh. 
Ah. A red marker. Ah. Idiot. Welcome to Something Land. Theme park and casino construction outline. A very slick looking proposal to rework a facility into a high end theme park and casino resort. Had lots of pleasing looking graphs pointing upwards, so you know for sure it's a good idea. Some multiple attractions include That Land, Genetics Kingdom, and Kitchen. My god, Bob, what is this? There is no way in any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility to resort. Stop it, you dummy. I mean, you know, the guy is trying. Let's draw the face on this and then we pick it up. Take it over here and put it on the butt. What about? Face the worst face in the world in front of the camera. That does not sound good. <laughs> 